Can't do anything about that dark. Can't do nothing about that dark. But you know what I can do? I can go in for... I can go in... I don't... I don't... I, I honestly... I don't know. Yo, what's going on, everybody? This is Miss School. Today, I'm doing something I've never really done before. And I'm doing a two-part video series of how to beat Demon Hunters. And today... I'm going to show you how to kite a demon hunter, and then tomorrow I'm going to show you how to play against them. So hopefully this is helpful for anyone who's struggling again against them. Demon hunters are really, really good right now. I think I've queued into every single one of them in two's bracket. So uh, with that said, let's jump right into video, and this video is going to be how to kite against demon hunters. Today I have one game for you, and it is one of the most stressful games I have ever played, and probably one of the most stressful games you'll ever watch, where I kite a demon hunter for about seven minutes, and throughout that game, I kind of do some things that help me stay alive long enough to get a kill on the enemy healer, and of course, if you have any questions, let me know. I'm just going to go you through some tips that I did during this game to help you survive against them. The most important thing you can do is put your port in the correct spot. And this game was on the new map. And you could see halfway through the game, I realized where the best place to put the port was. And you could see that I put one, I put my port. And this is this is a rule of thumb against most melee. Is you, I'll put my port behind the a pillar. Especially if they're targeting you. And then you port. And then they will use some kind of mobility to get to you. If it's a warrior, they'll leap. If it's a demon hunter, they'll fell rush you. And then what you do is you, your second port, you port back to the middle of the map and then roll across the arena. And now you're all the way across the arena. You get some breather. You can, you can you know, heal, drink potentially if they're taking long enough to get to you. But that's a really good rule of thumb to have. For demon hunter specifically, you also want to use your crowd control to peel for yourself. It is very, very important. You'll see throughout this game, my demon hunter is trying to kill the enemy druid. He is nowhere near me. I am nowhere near him. So I got I to gotta fight for myself here. Now, you have three tools for this. Paralysis, Song of Chiji, and Leg Sweep. The most important thing versus a demon hunter is the proc that they get called Fodder of the Flame. And what this does is their abilities have a chance to proc a demon. You've probably seen it, you you know, or maybe not, but this is what heals them and deals damage. But when it procs, it's also dealing damage to the demon hunter. So what that means, if I go for paralysis when the demon hunter has a demon proc, it's going to break that paralysis. So you'll see me when I'm going for crowd control. I'll quickly look around to see if there's a demon. If there's no demon, go for your in-cap song and then leg sweep. That's really, really important. Always, I always tend to go for the in-cap first. And then I go for the song after. Just because, you know, if there's no demon, there's no, you know, he doesn't have a proc, I'm just going to go for a song. And then if it if a demon does proc, I can leg sweep off that. The final tip I will give you is do not waste your tiger's lust. I know this is very small, but it's a small details that will keep you alive. Demon hunters, when they use their throw glaive on you, they will slow you by 50%. Instantly, instantly, tiger's lust it and get around the pillar. In cap, tiger's lust myself. You should always be kind of close to the pillar, but... If you get slowed, Tyros us yourself, make a macro. I have a macro, I'll put it in the description that that targets you or um, Tyros us you and then run around the pillar. And this will help you with kiting a lot because they kind of rely on that slow, especially if they just got CC'd for a while. And then once you get around the pillar, throw a little ring of peace on the corner and then just kind of just dodge them. And that is pretty much it. If you have any questions at all, please let me know. I know this is a weird video. It's only one game, but it's one insane game. So please let me know if you have any questions. Hope everyone has a fantastic day for your day. Hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you later. I'm so surprised we're playing against a demon hunter. Wow. Wow, a demon hunter. That's crazy. He trinkets. I stun him. This is how you deal with demon hunters, by the way. You just make them just... Quit. I get kicked. Shadow mode. Let's hunt. Port. Port back. Dodge shadow beam. Line the hunt. Nikes. I'm out. Damn. He's going to hunt me. He's going to hunt me. Revival it. Tranquility. That's right. The spell. You cap this? Oh, he breaks it. Every DPS, every DPS just wants to break my in-cap. Uh, we're dropping low, but we're fine. We're fine. Don't fret. Don't fret. Port. Don't mind if I do. He, how is he here? 
How is this guy here? Starting him. Starting him. Peace. Peace. Bye. Mystic touch here. In cap before he procs a demon. Okay. Should I life cocoon? I'm just gonna life cocoon. I thought he was gonna stun me. But it didn't work. Alright. Wow, big in cap there. That's that's huge. That's huge. Juke Demon Hunter. Stunned. Port. Port. I think I need to meld drink kind of soon. Actually, if I could just drink right now, I, I don't know what's hitting. I don't. Drinking. In cap. Tigers lost myself. I'm, just, I'm rooted. It's going to revival here. He kicks nothing. Kick that. Let's get a port. Bonus for here. Port back. I think this is the best port placement for this map. Because, like, the LOS, it's like double LOS. Because you bring him around the pit. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. Hi. Hi. In cap. He has no demon. He's going to go for it. I'm going for the song. Oh, my God. He's right here. He's just right here. He's gonna hunt my demon hunter. Not my demon hunter. We trinket. Nice in cap. Kick that. I'm just gonna cocoon myself, I guess. Like. That's our hunt. Kick that. Port. Oh, this is bad. Incap this. I might be able to live here. I'm incapped. Mm. I think I die. Sweep. Yulon here. Revival. Immune the clone there. Nice. Manatee. Kicked. Be healing. You cap this. Rop him. I'm dead. Looks like just free cast here. I'm dead. Port. I mean, man, man is still tight, man. I don't know how we just recovered there. No idea. Drinking? Oh, hello. It's a very fun and interactive game. Dispel? Dispel. Be healing. Nice and cap. I pre-six minute cooldown this. So I feel like that should be enough. You know what I mean? Juked him. I hate Demon Hunter so much. I really do. Incap this guy full. Sweep him. I get that stun. I'm just going to cocoon. Juke Demon Hunter again. Again. I wonder if I could drink right now. Just drinking. Super quick. Just quick sips right here. Just a little mana. Just let me drink. Oh, puppy. Big healing. I got mana tea. Incap this. Song here. Can't do anything about that dark. Can't do nothing about that dark. But you know what I can do? I can go in for... I can go in... I don't... I don't... I, I honestly... I don't know. 